Hi guys, so nice to be back in my chair after a couple of weeks away from you. So sorry about that, it wasn't intentional. I went away on a holiday with the best laid plans to shoot and edit a video while I was out there, but just didn't happen. Anyway, I'm back now and this week I am doing a little update to my websites video, which I uploaded last year and will link up here. Still totally stand by all of the suggestions I've put in that video, so please watch that one as well. But this is just an update with some that I've discovered over the last year, which I think would be really beneficial for you to follow and get involved in for your career development. So the first one I want to talk about is Legal Cheek. So Legal Cheek is a mildly tongue-in-cheek news website, and I'll tell you why I've said mild later on. But it covers all of the major news stories plus some of the slightly off the wall ones as well to keep you up to date with all of the legal news and it does it in a really manageable bite sized enjoyable way so that you will actually really enjoy keeping up with the legal news if you follow it from legal cheek but it's not just a news website there's lots of other stuff you can do on there so you can actually keep track of your application deadlines for training contracts and vacation schemes on there they also run a series of events they just ran one with Clifford Chance actually last week on artificial intelligence which looked amazing Amazing. So you can also get involved with them by being campus ambassadors for your university and there's loads of different stuff that you can do to get involved with Legal Cheek and they're a really established, really well respected brand in the legal profession so if you can get involved with them it's definitely a good CV boosting exercise. Okay, number two, aspiring solicitors. Now, this was set up by a chap called Chris White, who was a big city lawyer who came through a slightly unconventional background. And he eventually quit his job as a city lawyer at Norton Rose, I think it was, to set up aspiring solicitors because he wanted to create more access to the profession for, for people from underrepresented or disadvantaged backgrounds. So the website is primarily aimed at those people. However, there's an absolute plethora of resources on there. He works with a load of local universities, schools, law firms to create opportunities for people through work experience, through events, through awards, through the commercial awareness program. And there's also a load of people on there who are signed up to be professional ambassadors, including me, so that you can get in contact with those people on there. There's loads and loads of different types of solicitors and lawyers and people from all kinds of backgrounds on there who are there specifically to help you if you are struggling to get through the process for whatever reason. So I would really recommend you check that one out and sign up to be a mentee or sign up for some of their events or just get involved with them and become a member in any way that you can. So the final one I want to talk about this week is Roll On Friday, which I absolutely love. I recently said it was one of my favourite websites of all time, which it absolutely is. So Roll On Friday, if you don't know what it is already, it's an extremely tongue-in-cheek legal news website compared to Legal Cheek, which is mildly tongue-in-cheek. But the beauty of Roll On Friday is that its content is fueled by anonymous tips from employees at most of the major law firms across the country. So it provides incredibly candid reviews of each of those law firms indicating what's great about them but more often what's not so great about them whether it be the pay the career progression management attitude quality of the toilets rubbish snacks whatever it is it is on roll on friday so it's a really good way of getting a real inside of view on what those firms are really like which you probably won't get from the glossy brochures or the website or from talking to trainees or recruiters at the law fairs so it's well worthwhile having a look at that but i will caveat this with the fact that it is extremely tongue in cheek so Please do read it and enjoy it and bear in mind that the idea of the website is to provide entertainment for us lawyers, which it does extremely well. I absolutely love it. But don't be disheartened if one of your favourite law firms that you were desperate to apply for has got a really bad review on Roll On Friday. There are plenty of firms out there who have got absolutely slated by Roll On Friday that are still doing really well and people do still enjoy working there. Okay, that's about it actually. Hopefully quite a short one this week. Um, I've obviously put all of the links that I've talked about today in the description below and I've added a couple of others in there as well that you might want to have a look at just for fun. Um, and that's it. I am away again next weekend, so sorry in advance if there's no video, but I am making it my mission for this term to try and upload every single week on a Monday, so I'm really going to work hard to try and do that for you. As always, please leave me comments, thumbs up, thumbs down, what you'd like me to talk about. Hopefully I'm going to get a few new subscribers because I've got a few newbies who are starting term this year so always always really happy to receive feedback and ideas from you anyway I hope you enjoy your week ahead and I will catch up with you again next time bye guys